this is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today I will help you with Lesson 6, Place Value Through Thousands. Uh, please have your homework page ready and let's begin. Let's look at the homework helper. And here's an example. If I have 6 and 782 thousands in word form and I'm going to write it in standard form and expanded form, I'm going to do standard form first because as I read it, I can... Uh, see where where the numbers go. Now you know I like to do this to give me a little frame to where to put the numbers. Okay, six and I know and means the decimal. Six and seven hundred eighty-two thousands. I know I need to go clear to the thousands place. Seven hundred eighty-two thousands. That's standard form. Now to write it in expand in expanded form, I'm going to take take each number individually and write it uh, in our equation here, in our expression. So here I have 6, uh, so I write down the digit 6 and it is in the 1's place. So 6 times 1 plus my 7 is in the 10's place, so I write 7 times 1 tenth. The 8 is in the 10th, the 100's place, so I write 8 times 1 hundredth. And the 2 is in the 1000's place, so I write 2 times 1 thousandth. Okay, so you're going to uh, name the place of the highlighted digit and then write the value. So I need to remember this is my tenths, my hundredths, my thousands, and this is in the hundredths place. Okay, I'm really looking to make sure you have THS at the end of these words when they're to the right of the decimal. Okay, then, then you're going to write the value. When I do the value, I look at what the digit is. It's a five, and it's in the hundredths place, so it is five hundredths. That would be the value. So you'll do the same thing on these other two. When you get to number four, it says write it in standard form. So you're going to write the digits. You may want to do this and make a frame to put it in so that if there are any digits, any places that uh, end up empty, you can put a zero in them. And then you'll do a uh, standard form for this one, and you may want to do the same thing again. And then write the digits where they go. Okay, over on the back, it says you're going to write each number in expanded form and then write in word form. Okay, this is what I'd like you to do. This is the part where you get to do some skipping. On number six, I want you to write this one in expanded form. And this one, I want you to write it in word form. And number eight, you don't need to do. Okay, looking at number nine. Oh, remember when you do expanded form, you're going to take the first digit and then times it by the place that it's in. This is in the tens place, so you times by ten. And then you'll continue on with the rest of it. Okay, and remember when you do a decimal, you're going to write it as a fraction. So if you don't remember how to do it, flip over here and see how you write it. Okay, there's some examples here. All right, word form, you're going to say the number 100 and write it down. Now this is, uh, I'm going to be looking for your THS at the end because this is in the thousands, um, sorry, the hundreds place, so I should see that at the end. All right, let's look at number nine. When measuring board footage for some exotic woods, a carpenter must use one and twenty-five hundredths inches for thickness rather than one inch in her calculations. Write it in expanded form. The summer camp Jessica attends is exactly 423 and four-tenths miles from her home. Write 423 and four-tenths in standard form. Okay, you'll go ahead and do that. If you want to start out with a frame, to help you put the numbers down, that's always a good thing to do. Number 11, which statement is true regarding the value of the digit in the tenths place of the decimal? Cross that one out. We will be talking about this a little later in the year. Okay, thanks for watching this homework helper video. If you have questions, feel free to ask me tomorrow at school.